Therefore, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that as if in legislative session, the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of H. Con Res 24, expressing the sense of Congress that the report of Special Counsel Mueller should be made available to the public and to the Congress, and which is at the desk, further that the concurrent resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, and the motions to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Mr. President. Senator from Kentucky. Reserving the right to object, I'm all for transparency. I think we should know as much about this investigation into the president as we possibly can. We do know that we only know part of the story and that the Mueller report is only part of the story. What we also need to know is how this originated because I think it's very important that we not turn our country into this back and forth where each successive party tries to use the apparatus of government to investigate the previous president. We do know now that the investigation of the Trump campaign reached to the highest levels of the White House, all the way up to President Obama. What we don't know is, was President Obama told that the evidence to get this investigation started was paid for by the Hillary Clinton campaign? We need to know that. So that's not part of the Mueller report, but that's something that I'm asking that we should attach to this resolution. We need to know, was President Obama told that this information came from the Hillary Clinton campaign? We do not yet know whether or not John Brennan was involved and to what degree. We do not know whether or not John Brennan colluded with British spy agencies to spy on Americans. It's illegal for our CIA to spy on Americans. We don't not yet know whether or not John Brennan was colluding with British spy agencies and other spy agencies to get them to do his dirty work. We do know now that John Brennan who had the power to listen to every American's phone call, who had the power to listen to every person's phone call in the entire world, we know that he is a rank partisan. We now know that John Brennan has called the president a traitor, essentially saying the president should be put to death. This is the guy that was in charge of this investigation. This isn't an objective person. We need to know about all of the communications. So I'm asking unanimous consent that we modify this resolution and that we find out and gain access to all the communications between Comey, Brennan, and Clapper, and the White House, and President Obama, because I don't want to ruin this great country with politically motivated investigations year in and year out. This had to do with placing spies and in infiltrating the Trump campaign. Do you really think that our intelligence agencies should be infiltrating each other's campaigns? I don't want this to happen to a Democrat. When President Trump came to the Hill a week ago, he says, this shouldn't happen to the next Democrat president. We should not misuse the power of our intelligence agencies to go one party after another. How can we get on with the people's business if we're allowing the government to be consumed with this kind of stuff? So I ask unanimous consent that we amend the resolution and that we look at the entire story, not just the investigation, but how we got here. The media wouldn't even print this fake dossier. They, it was so scandalous and so unverified and it's been turned out to be untrue, and yet this was the basis for beginning the investigation. This was the basis for doing something extraordinary, implanting spies and informants into the Trump campaign. So I ask unanimous consent that we amend the resolution and that as the Mueller report comes forward, we also come forward with all of the communications between the people who got this started and we discover once and for all whether or not these people misused their office in starting this investigation. Does the senator from Virginia wish to modify his request? Reserving the right to object. Um,